Sabo, aka everybody, this your boy Quan, aka Sabo, aka Quan Sapo. This is how you find me on Band Lab, Quan Sapo, David Sabo. That's me. I want to teach you how to make rap songs today. If you already know how, that's cool. I just want to show you some Band Lab stuff and just run through it real quick. This is the Explore button. It's a compass. Click that compass. That's for searching. Hip hop right here, right there. Click hip hop. Up here's the hashtags. Instrumental. Let's search that. Instrumentals. Go down through here and find something you like. When you find something you th when you like, follow the art. Follow the artist. Leave him a comment. Tell him, you know what I mean. Leave him a like. Leave him a comment. Tell him you like it. And then you go over here. Uh, hit fork. It's gonna give you the option to open it up in the uh, mix editor. Yes. Okay. I might have to fix my mic right here. Sorry. Okay. Hope you hear me. We're gonna get our mic. The first mic. We're gonna have it. We're gonna just name him. Go down here. Hit this. Get the menu. We're gonna name this mic Ad Libs. You'll understand later because we're gonna after we dupe these tracks, duplicate these tracks for, for our master. Okay. And then click over here to settings. Monitoring. Monitor your mic. Make sure. Make sure that mic is uh sounds good. Or late fix your latency. Got latency, fix it. Let's check your latency if you got any. Um count in, give yourself one bar. Snap the grid on, and then write your lyrics. Got your lyrics written down before you start, because it's going to make, uh, or I mean, do your freestyles and then write your lyrics, whatever, however you work. Um, decide how you're going to do it. You have an intro, hook, or intro, verse, hook, verse, you know, however you go, whatever you want to do. And then, um, you know, arrange it all out right there. You can see it in front of you. And then when, before you start recording, when you start recording, well, uh, go down here, to this plus right here, add another mic, label it, uh, let's go with verse, okay, you can record, count you in, then you can record, you record your verse, however you want, like 8 bars, uh, 12 bars, whatever, uh, record your hook, add, add a mic, record your hook, you label it, because we're going to duplicate these, and I'll show you why, so you can uh, level out your sounds, and then pan them from left to right, so you got your hook recorded, duplicate it, then you can pan, don't pan them all the way out, because you're going to lose everything from the middle, just pan them out, if you need to hear one individually, you hit the solo, if you want one to be quiet, Mute, right there. Um, same thing, duplicate, it's gonna go to the bottom. So, you duplicate it twice and then pan them. Level them out, how it sounds good to you. Uh, and your effects, forget about the effects. You wanna put those effects on probably before you start recording. It'll, it'll help you get the vibe of how it's gonna sound overall. Uh, for your uh, hook, effects right here. For your hook, you probably might want something like a voice note. It's gonna, it's gonna even everything out, make, make it sound good. Um, for your verse, you probably want something like a, it's like a hi-fi comp. It's gonna just make, it's gonna make it sound good and clear. You know, make it sound real good and clear. And then for your, uh, your ad libs, probably want uh, something like in the middle, like punchy rap out here. So you cut through and be heard through everything else with the ad-libs. Um, you know, work on it, get it how you like, arrange it all. Use your snap to grid to uh, come in on, on your measures. See, it's going to come in. You're going to start your probably your first verse here at 3. Bam, and it's going to snap. You're probably going to start your, uh, your hook here at 11 or 15. And that snap is going to be really useful for you. When you're doing your ad-libs, you might want to turn that snap off. Um, next thing we're going to do, do we get it all levels and panned out the way you like? Save it. Save often. You're going to want to be saving this all the time, man. I do. You don't want to lose it. I mean, it really sucks. Um, save it. And then view your revisions. You view. These are all. Uh, when you get to the, your uh, timeline view, you know, in the project. Did I save it? Uh-oh. Anyways, when you get to your timeline view in the project, you can update project. Change the name of it. Change the description of it. 
tell them what it's about, whatever, additional settings. If it wants to be forked or not, if you have a band, you can share it with your band and your band can work on it. Um, you can share your demo version like this, but I wouldn't recommend yet until you've done this. Come over here down to view details. That was at the bottom there. Go over to up here in the top corner. Edit mastering. The BandLab has an auto mastering uh, feature that works great and they have a couple of options. They have a bass boost option, enhanced clarity option, and a CD master option, which kind of evens it out. So um, that's a really good thing. I'd use it. Um, maybe you're ready to publish now. If you're ready to publish, you get that square away. You hit right there, publish. Your final uh, settings, explicit, unlisted, whether you want it listed or not, uh, genres, and then uh, final description. You'll publish. Then people will be able to hear it. Before that, you know, I mean, as long as you published them before, they were private. All the older revisions, like that. Um, so, if you want to make it pu public, publish it. It's gonna take it's gonna take a while to uh, process it. But then after that, um, you can go up here and invite members, any of your friends on BandLab or people you've met. Send them a message, like you to come over here, man. You wanna see if you can make a better verse than me. Send it to them. They can accept it or deny it. And I mean, just real quick, that's pretty much it. That's how you make. A rap song on band lab pretty simple uh i'm kwan sabo aka kwan sapo holla at me